Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 Creator Club series. So, before we get into this episode, drop a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you are new to the channel, hit that big red button underneath the video, it massively helps me out. So you might have noticed that the camera is smooth as fuck. Man has upgraded. Um, so yeah, I will keep an eye on its performance over the course of the video and see if I can fix it en route. So we start this episode in ninth place. We start our third season in the championship and hopefully um, we go up this season. We should go up this season. I say, I say we should go up. Um, if I have a look at our objectives for the season, domestic success isn't actually um, a priority. It's low priority. Um, our objective is to fight for promotion and we need to reach the round of 32 in the FA Cup, which with the team that we've got is achievable, in my opinion. It's definitely, definitely achievable. Um, especially with the transfers and the players that we've brought in as well. Brand exposure, win a get a streak of five wins at home this season. Medium priority, so we actually should act, we should actually focus on that. Um, continental success is zero because we don't actually have any European competitions. Um, and increase your club worth by 25% through player sales and competition prize money rewards is low priority as well. Youth development is very low priority, so they're not bothered about that. So the only thing we really need to focus on actually is brand exposure. Um, which is the five uh, win streak in home matches this season, which again should be achievable, should be very, very achievable. So, moving into this episode, like I said, we start off in ninth and we have Derby County first up. So, very first game of the season is the 30th of July 2022. We again, away game, first game of the season. That is a strong Derby County side. We go with the first team, ladies and gentlemen, with Greenwood and Semenyo up front. Beckham and Johnson down the wings. Kane Scott in the middle of midfield. Bill Young, King and Adams in the defence with Stockdale and goal. So Young and Adams get debuts, ladies and gentlemen. And we might end up bringing Sterling on um, in the second half in case uh, George Johnson does pick up like an injury or he gets tired. So let's jump into this game, ladies and gents. And three points is definitely on the cards. We need a strong start of the season. All right, and like I said, guys, the camera, um, my face cam and everything is has been upgraded, I should say. Um, we picked up a Logitech Bi Biro, I think it's called, or Brio, Brio. And yeah, no, nah, we we HD now, we 60 FPS, you know, we 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 sitting pretty, we sit we sitting pretty up in this bitch now. Um, that's a hefty, hefty, hefty touch there by um, Jordan. Ibe, that is a hefty touch by Beckham. So opening first. Oh, that's Paddy McNair at centre back. I didn't even see that. That is Paddy McNair. That is former Sunderland Paddy McNair. I can't select the right player. I can't select Scott in the middle of midfield. You stupid game. Can I win the ball back? Nice one. Nice one, young boy. Night. No, no, no. Wrong pass. Yep, they're through. Can't stop them. Good save, Stockdale. I can't stop them. Couldn't select the, the the player that the player that I wanted. It's a good header away by Young. Kane has picked this up though. Counter attack, counter attack. Semenyo, I need you to run, bro. Semenyo, I need you to run. It's Antoine Semenyo, ladies and gentlemen. It's Antoine Semenyo. <laughs> He's got himself on the score sheet. He's off the mark this season, ladies and gents. Fantastic counter-attack by the boys. Um, you know, Kane especially getting the ball down and just running with it until Semenyo uh, opened himself up. Ball over the top as well. Absolutely beautiful. Love that. Good finish again by Semenyo. 1-0, ladies and gentlemen. Semenyo into Greenwood. Beautiful counter-attack. Greenwood, get your shot off. 2-0. But that's all this has been. That's all this has been. Every time Dobby's been on the attack, it's, it's literally been a case of you know, them, like us not being able to get anywhere near them for some strange reason. Um, you know, people out of position and, you know, every time we tackle, we win the ball cleanly. It bounces back to them and it's really, really frustrating. But we do manage to catch them on the counter-attack yet again with Greenwood and Semenyo linking up yet again. Hopefully that, that partnership, that combination in the championship is going to be really, really important for us this season for our promotion challenge into the Prem. Um, but apart from that... 2-0 up at half time. I will not complain. All right, triple substitution, ladies and gentlemen. Greenwood off. Kone on. Johnson off. 
and Sterling on and Kane off and Tito Fernandez on. So, ladies and gentlemen, triple, substitu triple substitution already. Um, you know, this this game. That is Semenyo and Kone linking up. Kone straight away into the top bins. The pro club's legend himself getting on the score sheet and off the mark already this season. Triple substitution's already worked. Semenyo and Kone linking up. I don't know who won the ball back. Actually, that's a that was a <laughs> that was a th that was threading the needle. That was a thread. That was a that was a nice pass. That was a defense splitting pass by Semenyo. That was beautiful. Um, three nil. Scott winning the header. Sterling up to Semenyo. Up to Kone. through for Beckham. Can he get there? He can. I think it's Kone arriving in the middle. Kone with a brace, ladies and gentlemen. 4-0. Like again, counter attack. We just we just caught them on the counter. Like, that's all that's all we've done. That that's that's legit all we've done. All game. And I will happily take that. Kone picks up the ball from a pass. I think it was Charlie King who gave him the ball. It's Kone with the shot. It's a good save by Roos. He wants that hat trick, ladies and gents. He wants the match ball in the first game of the championship season. Bale is going to swing this in. It is Semenyo straight through the keeper, 5-0. I, I, I think we're going top. I honestly think we're going top. Like, we just, just we can't stop scoring. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot, we cannot stop scoring. And it's a fire. It, it's looking like a 5-0 victory for the boys. Like, this goes straight through, this header from Semenyo just goes straight through the keeper. Like, he, he goes for, like, the, the high the high flick like the high the high push like that he lifts his hands when the, when the ball's going low and he, he could have so easily caught that but it is what it is it's 5-0 all right guys and your man of the match is between Kone and Semenyo who both picked up a brace but I'm giving the man of the match to Semenyo because he got two assists now Absolutely good performance. I like perfect performance from the boys. 5-0, right? I'm not I'm not debating that. Um you know, Greenwood was fantastic up top when you know when he was on the field. Beckham down the left hand side. Eh. Sterling when he came on, he he, he he looked a bit dangerous, but his passing can like his passing really needs to be worked on. Cody and Semenyo up top looked absolutely deadly. Cody had come on and he was just quick, he was agile, he was exactly what we needed him to be. Um and he absolutely taught Paddy McNair a new one. So it feels good to get one over an ex Sunderland player. Um, and yeah, now 5 0 victory. Like I said, I think I, I, I think we're going top. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the words. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Energy Arena, 6th of August 2022, home game against Preston in the league. Um, this could be the start of our, you know, five game run. Um, that the board wanted as one of our objectives. So we go with a 1-0 victory. It It's a very, very, very late goal by Tito Fernandez. Um, I imagine he's man of the match. He is with a nine. And yeah, um, nothing much else to be said. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, we, 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 I mean, they had a man sent off. Um, but it's a 1-0 victory. Not much else to be said. Really not much else to be said. It's... It's the first home win of the season and continues our 100% record. All right, guys, so Carabao Cup, 9th of August, 2022. Um, we go with the rotation team, but Douglas Glass is starting in the center midfield because he wanted to start and I want to try and keep my players happy. Um, so, yeah, we're going Carabao Cup first round. Um, a competition I'm not really that bothered about, and it's not in any of our objectives, but it is a 2-0 victory. Kone and Sterling getting on the score sheet. Um... Not much else happened in the game, actually. But your man of the match is 8.8. Hudson. Mad. Goalkeeper got man of the match. 8.8. Um, absolutely. I love that. Absolutely love that. And the, you know, Douglas Glass gets gets a 2-0 victory on his on his debut. Um, that's, yeah. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Third sim game of the episode, ladies and gentlemen. And it's Norwich. It's away game. 13th of August, 2022. We go with the first team. Like I said, quick sim, and then the and then obviously the next one is played. It's a 2-2 draw um, against a strong Norwich side, believe it or not. So they're a, you know, they're a strong team. Uh, they did equalise in like the last minute as well, which is disappointing. Uh, but Scott and Johnson getting our goals, Hernandez and Brown getting theirs. Uh, man of the match, 
is 7.6 was actually brown for norwich 8.1 um so we didn't even get that gg all right ladies and gentlemen home game now against oxford united who are currently 16th on the table after three games 16th of august 2022 we go with the rotation team and yeah just not really much else to be said i i'm trying to i was trying to think of something else to say but it's just not coming out uh so yeah no we we move forward and again we we i mean we dropped down to third um after drawing our last game there so we should relatively pick up as much point as many points as we can get so let's try and play oxford united off the park good interception by sterling chambers into richardson i need i need an overlap sterling into mckenzie we're wasting chances why are we wasting chances we've had three chances already this half i think you've only seen two um but well no you'll have seen i think you'll have seen all three to be fair but we're wasting so many chances we've been all over oxford united ladies and gentlemen and you know Gordon, absolutely fantastic, winning the ball back there. Alfonso McKenzie straight through. He's going to lose his man and get the shot off. It's a fantastic save by the keeper. Um, but <laughs> we we we've had chances, and their keeper, believe it or not, their keeper's keeping them in this. Their their keeper is absolutely fantastic right now. So GG's to him. But so far, still nil nil. Hedo picks this up. Corner. McKenzie. Back to Kone. Kone being dragged back. This is this is good. This is good. That is even better. Clinical finish from Kone, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> I love this boy, man. I love this boy. I love this boy. Oh, man, yes. Absolutely clinical finish. This man, all he does is finish top bins. All, this, all he does is finish top bins, ladies and gents. But Kone, yet again, getting on the score sheet. I knew it was a good idea to bring him back. And, yeah, the... Again, like I said, Tito picked it up into Kone, into uh, McKenzie, back to Kone, and then finished into the back of the net for finally what is 1 0. Good interception, McKenzie. Kone, I need you to run, Maggi. Kone is getting there first. Back heel to Sterling. It is Henry Sterling. It is Henry Sterling, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Things you love to see. That is a good goal. That is a fantastic goal. Kone with the back heel into Sterling. Sterling took a couple of touches, got the shot off, and it straight past the keeper into the back of the net. That is things you just absolutely love to see. That is 2-0. Sterling coming forward now for us. He's got Tito Fernandez running through. Tito, what a save. What a save. <laughs> he's screaming at his defense and tito fernandez is just like Neow. have some of that <laughs> uh do we have a do, yeah, do we have a new goal scoring midfielder anyway corner to try and get that it's yet another corner i think i think we're going to switch this up actually i'm going to bring you here so i can drill this into corner that worked <laughs> Yep, that worked. That absolutely worked. Kone 3-0. And, yeah, it's it's game over. Like, keeper, keeper came well off his line. The guy on the line was nowhere near it. Kone, yet again, on a brace. Can he get the match ball? Acres of space. Acres of space for Sterling to run into. Absolutely acres of space to get this back to Kone. Back into Richardson. Richardson with a shot. It's fantastically saved. It's picked up by Sterling. He's got time. He's got time, Henry Sterling, to get another shot off into the back of the net. <laughs> what the hell? Henry Sterling, what a finish. He's <laughs> What an absolute finish from Henry Sterling, ladies and gentlemen, to just 
swing his left foot at that into the bottom corner. That is beautiful. That is 4 0. <laughs> game over. I mean, it was game over at three, but that kind of finish just ends the game. Kone's absolutely won the ball back. I mean, he's lost it again. Um, <laughs> but that kind of finish, ladies and gents, just absolutely just like it, it demoralizes a team. Because, like, they had ample opportunity to to win the ball back. And <laughs> they just didn't. They just couldn't get the ball off Sterling, ladies and gents. Things you love to see. I mean, we, we get another opportunity here with McKenzie. Well, if McKenzie's legs were a little bit longer, I think he would have gotten that through to corner. All right, guys, and your man of the match is between Kone and Sterling, who both have 10 ratings. I'm going to give it to Kone because he actually has an assist whereas Sterling does not. So your man of the match is Aluka Kone with a perfect 10. Sterling there 10, like I said. Mackenzie 8.6. Everyone else on an average rating. Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely fantastic performance from both Sterling and Kone in that match. Um, yeah, just single-handedly ripped um, Oxford United a new one. It's a 4-0 victory, and it's just adding a while goal difference. All right, guys, and to wrap up this episode, we sit top of the championship. I was about to say League One, but we are not in League One. We are in the championship. Um, yeah, so 10 goal difference there for the boys after the 5-0 thrashing earlier in this episode and the 4-0 victory just now over Oxford United. And yeah, we we play Blackburn next, who are currently ninth in the table. Uh, two, draws and, uh, two wins and two losses there for them. Uh, so we could actually pick up yet another victory. It's an away game, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, but we, like I said, we're on the same, you know, we're on the same points as Nottingham Forest. We just have a better goal difference at the moment because we have two clinical strikers in Semenyo and Kone. Uh, but yeah, no, we're, we're playing very good football. Um, you know, the championship does not phase us. Um, you know, we just need to, you know, we 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 play counter-attack. You know, we, we absorb the pressure and then we catch them on the counter-attack. That is the way we've always played. That is the way we will continue to play. And yeah, we... Like I said, we, we've played really, really good football in this episode. So thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you have enjoyed this episode, drop a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon so you know when I release new content or go live. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.